My name is Lockhart, but my dad's my name is Lockhart as well. My dad was a very interesting guy. He was a World War II veteran uh, and a fought in Korea, as well as Vietnam. And he was uh, what we call frequent faller. Uh, he was very frail. So the design of this system is called the Lockhart Monitor. That's for him, actually. So historically, in order to assess the balance and stability of uh, patients and subjects, we have to bring them into a laboratory that has a tremendous amount of equipment that's quite expensive and time consuming to run those studies. But there are accelerometers and gyroscopes within every smartphone. We believe that by clipping a cell phone with some of those same types of sensors built in, we can get a lot of the same data with very high fidelity and really eliminate the need for the lab in certain cases. So fall detection monitor, we worked on it 20 years ago. What we are trying to do is fall prediction. Predict fallers before they fall. Because remember that for the older adults, if you fall just that one time, your, your chances of falling increases. But not only that, you're, you, know, you have a chances of death uh, significantly. So what, do you, what you want to do is you want to avoid that first fall, whatever you do. So this, this system will actually predict an individual before they fall, of their instability in terms of their walking style, walking, uh, as well as how they stabilize themselves. So step one is validating the sensors that are within the phone. Step two is developing our own sensor that communicates with the phone and becomes basically a range extender of those uh, sensors that are in the phone. WearTech has really allowed this program to develop and be successful. Uh, without the wear tech support, we would have uh, technology developed at the university, we would have a company trying to commercialize that, but we wouldn't be able to do the clinical validation that we're doing here today. When we move this technology actually into the patient population and start to prevent falls from occurring, we are preventing pain and suffering, we are decreasing the cost of care in the country, and we are saving lives at the end of the day.